<laughs> Perfect. Like. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Tuesday, April 26, 2022. Welcome back from our three-day weekend, and we hope you all enjoyed this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Honey. Happy Tuesday. I'm Ava. Now let's all please, in, let's all please unite and honor America by singing and placing our hands over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, poetry writers, do you enjoy writing poetry? Do you like sharing poetry with other others? Well, it's time for the annual Junior High Mike Drew Poetry Award Contest. Your poem's theme should honor Mike Drew's positive spirit. The, me the message should be uplifting and inspiring. To get more information and to enter the contest, join the contest Google, cl Google Classroom with the code ROEM7DI So you, as you see on the screen here. Please note that the deadline is Monday, May 2nd, and that the winner will be announced, announced at the end of the school year. Oh, I have to remember to do that. Please send me the code again. Oh wait, never mind. I can get it from our Sycamore Junior High News Crew video recording later on in Sycamore Junior High News Crew YouTube channel. I always gather to rewatch some of our videos, and when my friends receive Student of the Week or Athlete of the Week, I show them that they can show their parents them receiving the reward. Oh, that's a great idea. I even subscribe to the channel to get updates. Well, any anyways, we kept the Mike Drew up Poetry Contest classroom code R O E M. 7DI up on the screen so that people had a good chance to see it. Again, the deadline is less than a week away, this coming Monday, May 2nd. This school year is flying by quickly. We only have 28 days of school remaining and about two more weeks to raise the funds needed in Pledge Star to experience the best fun -a -thon ever. They say if everyone donates $40 that we can have everything on the list. Yes, I wonder where on the list we are for the list of things we'll have, and guess we'll have to wait until Friday for video announcements or watch the TV monitors in the hallways or lunchroom to see where we are with the fundraising. Wait, why wait until Friday's announcements? Well, we don't have video announcements tomorrow due to testing, and having the testing delay schedule, we won't don't we we, we don't have fourth phone news crew class until after lunch. And Thursday, there is a field trip that interferes with us recording, editing, and publishing the video news. And Mr. Harris will read any emergency news over the PA. Today is National Pretzel Day. National Pretzel Day is on April 26th. Recognized as one of America's favorite snacks. A bag of nice, crunchy, salty pretzels or a big, warm, soft cinnamon pretzel is the question of the day. Either one is an excellent choice. There are a few different accounts of the origin of the pretzel. Most people agree that it does have a Christian background, and they were developed by the monks. According to the History of Science and Technology, in 610 AD, an Italian monk invents pretzels as a reward to children who learn their prayers. He calls the strips of baked dough folding, folded to resemble arms crossing the chest prediola. Whoa, such a simple origin for such a staple food. Now for the facts of the day. Did you know the highest paid NFL player ever is Tom Brady, earning around $300 million in the NFL alone? Today's daily survey. So Friday's survey asked if you use an online or paper planner, but over 50% of you don't use a planner at all. Personally, I use a planner, but not every day. But either way, don't forget to check out today's daily survey on the News Crew Communications Classroom. Well, I definitely use a planner. Wow, 50% don't use a planner. I'm curious how they manage their work, assignments, and schedules. Next up, late birthdays. Happy belated birthday to Mark D, Arj M, Taylor S, and Ethan T. We hope you have a one. We hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon and welcome to your video announcements. All right, it's Tuesday. It's kind of a shocker for everybody. It's nice to be here on a Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great long weekend. All right, a couple of announcements here. We the people, get ready to get your party on. You guys are on Friday, May 6th from 7 to 8 a.m. You are going to have your celebration party in the media center. 
all right, to celebrate your successes at your We the People competition. Make sure you've turned in your books before this, either Mr. Gutermuth, Mr. Hammer, or Ms. Carter in the Media Center. Bring your party hats and your appetite. So that's Friday, May 6th from 7 to 8 a.m. in the Media Center, We the People After Party. Attention all 8th graders, after two long years, the high school is bringing back Student Council. Student Council is a class at Sycamore High School. Student Council members will be placed into the course if they are elected. The high school is asking all interested 8th grade students to submit a 75-word essay, which is not a lot. All essays must be submitted before April 29th, so that is Friday, if I'm not mistaken. If there are six or more students who express an interest there, we will host an election. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Diorio in room 134 for the guidelines and information on how to submit your essay. Boys soccer meeting. Any 7th grade boy interested in playing soccer at the junior high next year, you're going to have an informational meeting Friday, April 29th during Flex in room 240. That's Mr. Tanaka's room. Now remember, you can only play on one soccer team at a time, all right, according to the Ohio High School Athletic Association. So you can't play on a select team and a school team, all right? But that meeting is going to be next Friday during Flex Bell in room 240. If you can't stop, if you can't make that meeting, please stop by Mr. Tanaka's room and get a handout. And the week is finally here. Woohoo! All right, the Sycamore Junior High Theater production of Willy Wonka Jr. is finally in the house. This performance will take place on April 29th, April 28th, 29th, and 30th at the High School Theater at 7 o'clock. Please purchase tickets at Abe's Theater or for $10, or you can pick them up at the door for $12. And to the cast and crew of Willy Wonka Jr., good luck. Hope you guys have a great show this weekend. Hey, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Now I'm Mr. Labrick home with an important announcement. Good morning, aviators. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, the following is directed towards our 8th graders. 8th graders, you may or may not know that this week uh, is halfway through the quarter, so interims will be pulled. With that, 8th grade day is roughly five weeks away, which means that one of your jobs is to be academically excellent and in good standing here at the junior high. So if you have more than one F, you are going to be receiving a pass to come talk to me about your grades and how you may or may not be able to attend 8th grade day. If you've got all passing grades, you don't have to worry about a thing. You keep doing those great things. But if you've got room for improvement and maybe have more than one F or just one F, you may receive a pass from me to talk about the consequences of not having passing grades. Again, you are a student first and foremost. We want you to be successful and get prepared for the high school, which is closer than you think. And we want you to be able to participate in 8th grade day. So again, make sure you are in good standing academically, or you may lose 8th grade day. Thanks! So glad we had an amazing 3 day weekend. Yeah, it was definitely very nice. Don't forget to see the musical Willy Wonka that our lovely theater program here at the junior high is putting on at the end of this month. And don't forget to buy your tickets soon. Remember, we will not see you until Friday with our next video announcements. Have a great week and good luck, 8th graders, with the science air test. Now for the joke of the day. Thanks to Mrs. Hurley's class for another joke today. When do you go at red and stop at green? When. When you're eating a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> go, go waves! waves.